A dead white shark has been discovered on a beach in Cape Breton. Fishermen believe it is the same shark spotted yesterday swimming very close to a nearby wharf in Inganish. Erin McNeil is a biology professor at Dalhousie University. So first off, yesterday we saw that video of the sharks swimming so close to the wharf uh, in Inganish. Uh, what do you make of that kind of behavior? It's pretty unusual. I took a look at uh, both of the videos that they collected and uh, what you can see if you look closely is the shark is swimming in a really strange way. I mean the fact that it ran into the dock is an indication that it's not doing well and um, you, the dorsal fin is flopped over and it doesn't seem to have good balance in the water. So it was a shark that wasn't doing particularly well. And just up the shore, a shark found dead. Fishermen believe it was the same one. Um, if it was, what do you think might have been the cause of its death? Well, uh, given the strange behavior and the fact that uh, other sharks that have washed up dead, other white sharks that have washed up dead in the recent months, uh, there hasn't been any indication of trauma or starvation or anything like that. And the current theory that we have is that they're suffering from a brain infection. Sharks uh, in a similar, uh, from a similar part of the family uh, have done the same thing in California. There's lots of records in the scientific literature. And so the current theory is that they get these sort of brain infections, a bacterial infection, and you know, it causes all kinds of problems and eventually death. And so that's, if it is the same animal, and I believe fishermen, they can size an animal and know, uh, then if it is the same animal, then it's probably what happened. It may have had a brain infection and just ended up dead on the beach. Now, how would they get that kind of infection? From the water, I mean, you know, just like us, uh, animals are out there. They, they have diseases the same way that we do, and there's what we call natural mortality that happens. So not everything is uh, human-caused. Uh, one thing that is human-caused is that we have very high water temperatures this year. Uh, it's still about 16 degrees or so out there, which is about three or so degrees more than we would expect. And the more heat you have in the water, the more bacterial infections that you're going to have. So that could be slightly related, but again, Sharks have infections and they die of things uh, all the time. So do you think given that the waters are, are warming, we could see more of this situation happen more, more frequently? I mean, it's still a pretty rare event. Um, you know, we hear three, four, five sharks have washed up dead in the last uh, 18 months or so. That's not really a lot. Um, there's a stretch of California uh, in San Diego County that got five sharks in a month. Uh, and we have 10 times the amount of coastline that California does. So, you know, it, it's a surprising event and an unusual event, but it's very hard to infer that uh, there's a big trend happening because it, the numbers are just so low. Now, we've heard the uh, shark may have washed back out to sea, uh, so it, that may, may remain a mystery. Could remain a mystery, yeah. So, uh, you know, if people do see a shark uh, wash up, they can call uh, us at Dalhousie University. Uh, we have a vet that's experienced in doing uh, pathology on dead animals and the um, Atlantic Marine Rescue as well, they, the Maritime um, Marine Rescue, they, they have uh, teams there that can do pathology as well. On a broader scale, what is out there that we can't see? You know, you can see the uh, ones that come right up to the wharf, but, but just offshore, what's out there? Well, in terms of white sharks, we have white sharks along shore. They're a, they're a mostly coastal uh, species. They do go offshore, particularly out to Sable, uh, where a lot of the biggest animals are. The animals that we tend to see here in Nova Scotia are what we would call sub-adults or juveniles. So those are sharks that are, you know, less than 10 feet, less than 10 or 12 feet, uh, are eating fish primarily. When they get above 10, 12 feet, they switch almost completely and they start feeding on seals. And those are the really big animals. And we do occasionally see them inshore, but mostly what we see inshore are the smaller juveniles that are eating uh, fish. And this shark, judging by the size in the photos, uh, was a juvenile. Now, what's the difference between a white shark and a great white shark? Uh, nothing, just the person who's giving you the information. So typical biologist would just say white shark. That's the common name that we know it. Great white kind of emphasizes that they're the, the biggest of the predatory sharks in the ocean. And uh, it's, it's a, just a kind of a colloquialism. As for the overall population, where does it stand now? Well, white sharks are endangered in Canada, and they declined by north of 90 percent over uh, the first part of the 20th century, mid part of the 20th century, and then um, in about the 1990s, the protections were put in place and 
pretty much every white shark population in the world now is just kind of very slowly recovering. They have very uh, low reproductive rates. It takes them a long time to rebuild their populations, but that's what we're seeing here as well. As the seal populations on the coast, which are increasing, mm -hmm. uh, combined with the increase in the population of the white sharks, which is very slowly increasing, we're going to see more white sharks around uh, in our waters. Well, it's all very fascinating, and thank you so much for walking us through it. You're welcome.